Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I did manage to actually get a couple of the Flower Beauty um, eyeshadow palettes off of the Ulta website. And so I'm back with uh, the, the one that I haven't reviewed yet. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started with what I have on today. And I do have the Glow Oil by Supergoop SPF 50 on. Um, I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I have mine in Fair One, so I have this on as well. So these two are going to be kind of my primer things going on. And then as far as what I did for the actual foundation, I used the L'Oreal True Match. This one's in Cool One, and that's what it's my winter color because I don't have anything left as far as uh, any of the color that I had from the summer. It's all gone. And um, let's see, I had the Sky High on as far as mascara. And I did pick up the pack over at Walmart. So I had the primer and the mascara, and I have both on today. And I did also go ahead and put on the Essence Thick and Well on the brows. And so that's what I have on there. So it's all the usual suspects, nothing too new. Um, I did go ahead and get out some of my Flower Beauty uh, products since the palette is from Flower Beauty. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's the bronzer in uh, Sunrise. It's the Heat Wave bronzer, but the shade is Sunrise. And it gives you a mauve rosy kind of look. Really, really pretty. Really like it. Always have really liked it. And then what I did for blush was I got out my Flower Pyramid. This one is in Peach Glow, and so this is what I used for that. And I think I'm going to add some more on here. So this one is an e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. And with these, you can just go ahead and it's actually a powder product. And you just go ahead and swirl your brush in it to get all the different colors. Really pretty. like it a lot. So uh, there's some more blush there. And um, some hair sticking in my face. There we go. Can you see that now? Okay. And again, this is Peach Glow by Flower Beauty. And then I did go ahead and put a little bit of the Master Chrome on by Maybelline. And this is the one in uh, Molten Peach. So it's a highlighter. Really pretty highlighter. I don't know if it'll... There we go. Yeah, it's really shiny. And it... Um, yeah, the camera doesn't like it at all. But again, really pretty one. And then... As far as what I went ahead and did for the actual eye look, I used uh, Coastal Lights by Flower Beauty. And really pretty. Uh, this is one of their new palettes that came out during the holiday season. And I just didn't have a chance to go ahead and pick it up until now. Um, but this whole, actually, yeah. All four of these shadows over here are all going to be cool tone, and then you have a gold and a pink. I did use the whole palette today, so I did go ahead and use this on the outer corner, this right in the middle, and I actually, I did um, from the lid all the way up to the brow, so in the purple, and that's right in the middle, and then over here, uh, I went ahead and put on this pretty turquoise. This is uh, the color that I have. It's sort of a taupey, shimmery, taupey gray kind of color. And that I put on the inner corner from here to here. And then as far as this golden one, I put it right under the brow as a brow highlight. And this pink, um, yeah, there it is. And I went ahead and put that right on the inner corner and then right under the brow. And I also went ahead and used gray. So I have the pink from about here to about the middle as an eyeliner. And then I went ahead and put the gray from about here to here as far as uh, an eyeliner as well. So I have the pink and the gray. Uh, this one and this one both. Um, I'm using them as eyeliners today. I think the look came out really pretty. 
is the way it looks. And uh, this formula I just really, really like. That's why I went ahead and I picked up both garden lights and coastal lights. And um, the formula reminds me a lot of the Super Shocks by ColourPop. And I really like having some extra shimmers that I can go ahead and um, pull into looks when I need a, or when I feel like I need more shimmery lid kind of thing going on. So um, I really do like all these palettes. I have all four of them. And I think that's, yeah, because they have, let's see, Coastal Lights, Jungle Lights, which is this one. And let me open that one up so you can see what this one looks like. So this is Jungle Lights. And I think this was the second one that came out. The first one that came out is Desert Lights, which is a really pretty pinky, pinky color story. Again, this one would be really good for Valentine's Day if you're looking for Valentine's Day palettes. So Desert Lights was the first one that came um, out. And then Jungle Lights came out. And um, the two that I just got, well, one is Coastal Lights. Let me go and grab Garden Lights. Of course, it's not right here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so back, and um, let's see, Garden Lights here, and this one is another one that if you're looking for a Valentine's Day palette, you might want to go ahead and pick this up. Um, <clears throat> most of the time, I find that all, or the two that I've had, I always use as companion palettes. Like I said, if I have a um, lid or a, a lid that I just want a little bit more shimmer, with I usually pull in one of these palettes and they're very pretty I like them all and so these are the two newer ones coastal lights and garden lights and like I said they're just really pretty formula like them all very much and I'm just really glad to go ahead and add them into my collection and that they did really a balanced sort of thing between cool tones and warm tones. I think that's pretty awesome as well. As far as what I did on the lips, I have the ColourPop. And this is their Lip Stain in Twice Shy. And um, I did go ahead and use the Glowish Powder as far as uh, my finishing powder today. And I have this one in Fair. So that's what I did there. Um, and I used the Milani Make It Dewy as my setting spray. Ooh, I need to get a new one. Yeah. And um, I think that's probably the video today. Definitely recommend picking up any, um, either, you know, one to all four of these palettes. The, um, the formula is the same. They go on really easy. You can put them on with fingers, which is what I usually do, or brushes. Um, and yeah, I've been, I did the eyeliner using a brush and that worked really well too. Really, um, just really happy that I got the two newer ones and they're the same formula as the older ones I had and it just worked out really well. So uh, that's the video and thank you and have a great day.